Hello guys, today we are breaking down the awesome Mini Pro 12K camera, what it's really here to do, how it's going to change the industry forever, and how you should get ready. All that and more, coming up. All right, welcome back guys. My name is Alec Godwin, if you're just meeting me for the first time. On this channel, we do music movies, tech reviews, short films, you know, movie, documentary, that's the whole nine, even though I don't have a movie yet to show you. But if you like to watch movies or you like to learn how to make movies, in a summary, that's this is the channel for you. That being said, not long ago, if you just uh, woke up from your sleep, from a deep sleep like Captain America <laughs> and you don't really know what's going on we have black magic design um, released a 12k camera haven't looked at it right now I spent some time digesting it and they clicked what the mission really is you know I don't know if they intentionally planned it that way but this is how it's really gonna go down now for those of you still rocking 1080p, well, enjoy it while it lasts. The truth is that the new norm is going to be 4K. That's where this whole thing is going. Um, iPhones and all that have been stretching the boundaries, have gone to 4K and are stretching beyond to 8K like in the Samsung um, um, S20, I think. Everything has changed. Now I check on Amazon and I see a bunch of 8K HDMI um, cables. Of course, 8K TVs are coming out. What Blackmagic, you know, saw and just went up for was, well, for a long time, to get a good 1080p, we have been scaling down from 4K to get a good 1080p, right? Maybe if, if 4K is going to be the new norm, how about we take we get it from 12K? But the idea is it's only going to be a limited time, you know, before before 1080p start sounding like 720p. You know, for now we see the 720p back in the days we rocked it. It was like wow. When we had HD cameras, it was like we were doing HD. We were a lot better than the people that were doing 480p or lesser quality. You had to, you know, you had to be a pro to handle the HD cam code, camcorders. But that's, that was, you know, when I look back and I checked and I saw that most of those cameras were 720p. But truly, it's HD. It's just, it's not full HD. Okay? So, uh, and it was good back in the days. It was like, wow, you know, until we actually walk away and then you look back at the, at the 1080p, we are, 1080p we are rocking now, that's when you know. But the bottom line is things are changing. Everybody's upgrading. Systems are getting higher. Smartphones are getting crazier. You should get on board. Um, don't... Don't um, don't make the mistake and say, now how many TVs are still watched on 1080p? 1080p is what my clients want. 1080p is well, good. You can do that, but while they still ask for 1080p, get ready for 4K. In fact, if I was you, if I were you, I would be the one to talk to them about 4K. In advance I will tell them um, just prepare your mind you know your mind want to upgrade your flow uh, so that we have our uh, format in 4k or maybe in the line of whenever you're ready um, you know um, I'm considering giving you masters in 4k because that's gonna be it's gonna be it's not gonna be long before that's you know taking over but i'm ready if just in case you need to have 4k you can always let me know you know 
but I know sooner or later, just get ready for it. Get ready, it will, it will mean it just a little bit more budget. It probably mean um, you buying uh, more hard disk or get more space for your storage devices or stuff like that. Upgrade some of your equipment just to be able to, you know, probably show your um, the 4K footage on uh, in the office where you probably want to watch it amongst your board. You want to upgrade the projector so they can show 4K, stuff like that. Whatever the the line would be where the, this um, uh, final product would be submitted and shown like for preview upgrade. So you give them the heads up. Otherwise, when the trend changes, they might not think that you are capable. They might just switch up to somebody who is like, I can do 4K, you are still doing 1080p. That guy is not doing a good job for you. Everybody's on 4K, you are still doing 1080p. He might not listen for a while, but as soon as he agrees that it's time to move to 4K, he might not tell you, he might just tell you, we would like to terminate your, your contract. And that's it, you don't want that. Be the first to tell them, just for you to get a heads up, get yourself ready for uh, 4K as the delivery uh, format. Because, um, you know, it will be sad to see, you know, our job out there in 1080p and looking not as good as the competition, for example. Just to, to keep your client and give them heads up that you know what's up. You do know what's up. Uh, tell them and then probably whatever they need to upgrade in their system, wherever they preview or their conference hall projectors or stuff like that, upgrade to 4K if not already, okay? And you should be fine. When the time comes, you probably say, you know what, you were right. Let's get on board, let's do, the, let's do 4K now, all the way, all right. Simple, you should get ready for it, you know? and then charge a little bit more for the trouble because you're gonna buy a new computer if you don't have what it takes now. You're gonna, thank God for black magic anyway. Thank God for black magic anyway. You know, that we can edit 12K in, in a 4K, you know, laptop, you know, or 4, 4K desktop, you know? That's, that's, that's lovely to have. My message here today is to get ready because you see, when, uh, if you notice from that clip, when they showed the, um, the ship on, on that Black Magic clip, it was UHD, you know? They didn't call it 4K, because that's gonna be the new norm, you know? They didn't call it 4K, they just stepped back and we saw 6K. That's the only way we knew what we were watching was actually 4K. 4K is taking over and there's nothing we can do. Worst case scenario, you could have a 4K camera and deliver in 4K. There's nothing wrong with that. It's still relevant. The 4K cameras are still relevant. You can't defeat that, but just to get that in mind, what the trend really is, you need to catch up with the trend. You know, I know a lot of people will probably say when I said uh, I was gonna get the also mini 12k a lot a lot of people will probably say ah come on that's overkill you know i know i'll need it down the line my dream is film and you know if i can get the camera now i'll start practicing with it i'll start shooting youtube videos with me with it trust me um i expect a lot of people to be able to do that big bigger channels um there's nothing wrong it's not overkill and I, I will talk. I will talk a little bit later about, you know, how we are playing down ourselves. Um, there's a series coming up that, you know, for films, specifically for YouTubers and you know, filmmakers online. And I will explain in another video. Okay, it's gonna be the YouTuber slash filmmaker series, and um, I hope I'll be. I believe I'll be able to you know affect a lot of people that way and then change their mindset you know so i'm i'm like maybe i should say the word out there maybe i should spread the word out there 
so we can so i won't have to hear that hopefully uh if my word can get out you know that much it kills the spirit when you start hearing negative vibes okay and, and all that i will explain in another video but today's takeaway will be get ready for 4k which means you may need to get a higher camera like a 6k camera and deliver in 4k 8k camera deliver in 4k I mean, there's nothing wrong with a 12K camera and deliver in 4K. And that's why I'm dreaming about it. That's why I want it. That's why, fine, if it was a hundred thousand, if it was $65,000 for the awesome mini pro 12K, if it was that much, I would say, oh, you know what? Let's settle for maybe the G2 awesome mini 4.6. Or maybe it's the red Commodore. Maybe we have to settle for that. But or the Black Magic 6K is still on point. Um, the Black Magic 6K is still on point. I hope I made sense. I hope I talked to somebody today in the comments below. Feel free to share your own opinions, um, your own views. How soon do you think this will be in effect? Because I really don't know how soon this will be in effect, honestly. I just know that that's where it's going. Um, but it's happening faster than we thought, you know? If we, if we are having 8K TVs right now, then, hello, the alarm has been sounded, you know? You just have to jump on board, so. If you have a 4K camera that's not shooting raw, then it might not be the camera for, or well, it might not be the ideal camera for commercial works. Unless you, it's a big camera, it's just like a backup camera just to fill up and you know you did your exposures well and lighting, everything is on point. Yes, you could still survive with that. Why the FS5 will still live a little bit longer than you think, it shoots 4K RAW externally and at 422. So that bitrate is going to speak a lot of volumes when recovering pictures. So you can work on your ProRes RAW out on your um, Shogun 7 or whatever Shogun you are using. You get your RAW data, you work on your picture scale it, um, treat your picture, get your resolution down to your Rec. 709 in 4K and you still have a good product. But in general, this will be on the low low. In general, the future is 6K, 8K and 12K cameras. And that is how 1080p dies forever. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I would love to see you in my next video. Bye.